Hello everyone, Sean here, and I'm just doing a quick check-in. Uh, I hope everything's going well. We're getting to the middle of February now, and for History of Rock and Roll, we're now in Module 2. We just got finished in Module 1 looking at the precursors of rock and uh, looking at a lot of those music traditions that influenced the development of rock. So now we're moving into uh, the 1950s. That will be our main focus where this phenomenon known as rock and roll uh, really is birthed. And we'll take a look at how um, that rock and roll uh, was handled in the music industry and culturally, socially. So um, I enjoyed reading your observations from uh, in the discussion, looking at the film Gumbo from Ken Burns Jazz. Uh, it's always very enlightening to see uh, how jazz, going back to the early 19th century, uh, had such a major role to play in the development of rock and roll. So you'll see credit for that. Um, the listening quizzes, hopefully um, uh, things are... Um, getting clearer and clearer for you as you practice. And again, note that um, those are just for you to practice listening. And um, you have plenty of um, opportunities to go through each listening exercise, each listening analysis as many times as you need to. And all of that practice just really more and more develops uh, your hearing and your listening, your critical listening of, of all this music that uh, we're studying in this class. So for module two now in early rock and roll, uh, we'll be looking at um, uh, three main areas uh, with uh, early rock, teen idols and surf music. And you'll have your discussion too. I'm going to put that up in a couple days and that will be a film, another documentary uh, from the history of rock and roll um, focused on the 1950s. And then uh, project one. So I did mention that in module one, uh, that'll be due on February 28th. So uh, take a look at that and let me know if you have any questions. And remember, with any assignment, um, once you're finished and you turn it in, then I'll give you feedback and you can always take the feedback, make revisions if needed, uh, and then just uh, resubmit it and um, you can get additional credit uh, based on those rubrics. So let's see, what else? Um, your concert report, your film report is due any time throughout the semester. Uh, some of you have already turned those in, so I've gone in and graded those, given you feedback. So again, if, if, you, if there's anything that you'd like to make revisions and update, just do that and uh, just resubmit it. And um, I'll uh, go back in and check and uh, give you additional credit as needed. So... Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the update. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I do have um, virtual office hours on Thursdays from 9 to 10 a.m. So I had it this morning. So if you ever need to drop in to that Zoom uh, meeting and ask questions, uh, I'm there. So all right, have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon.